Hey, Javon Parrott here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the easy way to do life. Well, simple, I guess. And it's in very contrast to certainly the hard way to do life. So here's how it works. Hard, in case you can't read that, it says hard in the red. Uh, this is how most people, I think, do. Uh, they'll, they'll do a bunch of activity, frantic work. I gotta work really hard. When I started the loan business, I just worked hard. My mantra was, what I make up in skill, or what I lack in skill, I'm gonna make up in numbers. Not a bad uh, tactic. Uh, and uh, I, got, I got a lot of results fast, uh, com comparatively fast, but I worked really, really, really hard. Super, super long hours all the time. And then the thought was, once I did all the work, do, 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 then I'll have <laughs> results, funded loans, money. Now I have these great results, success in business and some money that I didn't have before. Now I can finally be happy. Now that's fine and dandy. It's not a bad process at all. The challenge is once if you ever lose the stuff you had that you worked really hard to get, all of a sudden you're not happy anymore. And it becomes very transient, very, very passing. I mean, your happiness is just comes and goes and you, your happiness is externally uh, received, meaning that your happiness is outside of you, somewhere out there. And what you may find if you're on this uh, rat race, this treadmill, is that you never really are permanently happy. It's very temporary. And so this is the trap of your ego that's or your, in your mind that's controlling your actions and it's just, it's a rough track. track track to be on. So here's another option. And it is the easy way. Easy. So easy is now we're going to be first. First. Is it possible to be happy now with my crappy car and my uh, maybe singleness? Hey, just Valentine's just passed and you, you don't have a single, you don't, you're not with somebody. Is it happy to be happy exactly where you are? possible, right? You start to enjoy the smaller moments. If your whole life sucks, you can always enjoy that first cup of coffee or tea or whatever you drink in the morning. Man, for me, that first cup, light years beyond every other cup, that first cup. In fact, I only drink one cup of coffee a day now because that first cup is so much better than any other cup. I don't do any, so any other cups. And so, man, just if I'm at that moment, my whole life is absolutely perfect when I'm enjoying that first cup. So what are those moments right where there that you can be happy and, and cherish those individual moments of being happy and feeling good? Because then if you can be happy now, then you do whatever comes naturally. I guarantee you I'm in sales when I am in a good state of mind, when I'm feeling good and then I do my sales activity, for example, you know, as a mortgage lender, I, uh, man, it works out so much better, like light years better. People engage with me more uh, more freely. They get that I'm not trying to, to like sell them something. No one likes to be sold. Sold. Uh, people like to buy, but they don't like to be sold, right? So, uh, and it comes from me being in a good place versus me needing and stressing and like, oh my gosh, please do a mortgage for me because I'm gonna die if you don't. It's like, <laughs> who wants to work with that person? B, then I'm gonna do activity and it's gonna work a lot better and then I'm gonna have stuff. Now, this is way better than the do have B because B do you have, if I lose all my stuff, guess what? I still have the capacity to be happy. I still have the capacity to love. I still have the capacity to be, be kind to anybody that I'm talking to. Say, thank you so much, clerk, for selling me this thing that I just bought. Thank you. And then I'm, you know, because I'm doing that, I'm giving joy to the person that I'm with. And I have the capacity to love the moments as I'm walking down the sidewalk and think, wow, it's so incredible that the sky is blue. Wow. It's so incredible that I have a car to drive to work. Man, I'm so thankful that I have, <laughs> you know, you can get, you can go anywhere. I'm so thankful I have two arms and two, and two legs. Um, here's, so I'm going to, say feel good so here's some tips feel good and then do the work that's a secret I would recommend that and then here's another one your mind is a wonderful tool your mind's a wonderful tool but it's a horrible master meaning that your mind you can figure out stuff if you got to figure out how to get to Nantucket to 
um, Southern California, well, your mind is awesome for figuring that out. But if you listen to your mind as di life direction over and over again, how to be happy, it's just a software and its job is to run programs. And more than likely, it's going to keep on having you run in circles forever. So it's a horrible master, but a wonderful tool. So feel good first. Try it out. Let me know how it goes.